Okay, we're back. Real nigga moment with Nana. What happened A to Z? Uh, I'm gonna let up a couple more people come in the room. Um, thumbs up if we're coming in clear. Uh, if you want the P.O. box, we'll be posting it again tonight. Okay, guys.
just throw this out there. Yeah. Y'all need to go get tested. Absolutely. So you I just was in think... hopes that it would shake y'all, but it didn't. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, no, seriously. So, so, this is before I got tested, though. So you you go get tested with or with, before OMAC? You this was, is before OMAC. Before OMAC. Yeah, you, I would never see You got tested for all STDs. You got tested for... Everything. It, it, everything. Oh, all pep smears, I got pep smear, they checked my cervix, smiled it, all that. All right, so, why the fuck didn't you tell everybody that everything came out negative and you ain't had none of that shit? Because you know people was out there saying, yeah. I got I HIV felt, and shit. I felt that people were coming down so hard on me that I felt like, fuck all y'all, like, that's not none of y'all business. That's not y'all, like, people were, tra- like, taunting me. And I was like, y'all not about to just... You know, like, bullied me into any, you know what I'm saying? That's how I felt in that moment. So I just was like, fuck what they saying. And I just kind of let it go. And I just forgot about it all. And I just didn't even pay no attention. It had nothing against you. So when you got your results that you was negative, what did you think in your mind about, like... I was fine. I already knew that. Like, in my heart, I knew that I didn't have anything. Like, I just did it just to see. You know what I'm saying? Just out of curiosity. Right. Just to see. Like... Right. Okay. So, but when I was doing it and everything, I was like, you know, actually, it was normal for me. Like, right. how you normally go get tested in Babylon, you're like, I know I don't got nothing, but I'm going to just do the shit for security reasons. You know right. what I'm saying? It was like that for me. And actually, the people around me was like, I think she won. I think she really got something. So when I actually showed them the shit came back negative, you know, and I was serious about it, it was like, oh, she's serious. So there's other people that know that the shit was negative? Yes. Oh. Yes. Including Omen. Including Omen. Yeah, that's why OMEC had put it online. And, yeah. Okay, so... I, I think... Mm, mm. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that part. Okay, so you with OMEC, you've been talking to him on the phone. Yeah. 50 days and all that. Mm-hmm. And now, we moving on forward to him, you meeting up with him. Mm-hmm. And y'all seen him driving on his little story i was watching i was mad but i was watching he was driving come see you and then boom the hand the hand the hand lock picture went viral the hand lock picture went viral let's create what's what's up yo the hand lock the finger lock picture let's create like Come on, talk to me. What's going on? Okay, so initially, I'm not gonna flex. I apologize if I ever misled anybody into thinking anything or anything. But my first initial thought when I did that, I was like, this is gonna trigger him. Talking about cheat, this is gonna trigger cheat. And now that was a part of the reason, I'm gonna be honest, that was a part of the reason why I posted that picture. I'm not gonna flex. Cause I knew it would get to you. Cause I felt so hurt that you were still fucking these women. I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just go all out. So uh, that was a part of why I posted it. Initially, that was why I posted it. But then on another hand, I was like, this will really benefit business. You know, I'm thinking about one. Yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah, this will really benefit, benefit the business. It'll bring yeah, me free money. Free. This will promote him as well. All right, so talk about your feelings when you first meet up with OMAC. What are you thinking? Like, you you haven't seen him in years. He pulls up. You see him. What is your initial thoughts? Honestly. My initial thoughts were like... It was like a friend. It was like a friend. Like, I was seeing a friend. Like... It was somebody, it felt like somebody I knew, but not somebody that I was in love with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, what's up, pop? what's up, what's up, what's up, son? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that big off type shit. But obviously, in his mind, it, it, it wasn't like that for him. It was more like, I'm looking to be mad. Yeah, you know what lo- I'm saying? Love eyes, yeah. But um, love eyes. I was pretty calm about everything, though. Like, I was calm about it and everything. And, um, yeah, but he, he just really felt like a friend. You know, like, okay, I'm seeing my friend. So why not, friend. why not? All right, okay, okay. Because obviously you did, you did step away and say, okay, this, this is only friendship. All right, so fast forward. 
to him meeting Eliana? What was that like? I had a lot of concerns when it came to him meeting Eliana because um, one of my main things about Eliana was not having a man, or another man around her. Like that was a big deal for me. Um, and I had to like really shut myself off to really think that I would be with Omega for the rest of my life for him to be in her like the way that he was in that moment. So I get alive. And you on live with Omac, and he picks up my daughter. What was going through your mind in that moment? I was thinking like, okay, so when it comes when it comes to Omac and the relationship that we had, it we had a lot of business energy between us. Mm -hmm. So y'all was, was making jewelry together. Right. Y'all was y'all was painting together. Right. Y'all was doing all that together. Right, right. So in that moment, because I was making beads. Ellie's a baby, so she's like touching everything, trying to put beads in her mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I was looking at that moment as help, as far as like. So you didn't do that to trigger me. Oh no, that was not intentional. And I would tell you that if it was, I really would. That was not intentional. That's amazing because the way they sent it to me is seeing the trick. It's and now, now I don't know what was going through his his head I could, when he did that, mm. but in my mind, I was like. It was like help for me because if it was a woman, you know, there with me, helping me with Ellie and the bees while I was yeah. doing this on live, that's what it, that's what, it, what the energy was. The be hand like. thing didn't trigger me. The baby thing, that shit. I didn't purposely do that. Boy, I don't know what was going through his hand when he did that initially. He no god. I'm not even gonna go here. Okay, we gonna move forward. Because we ain't going to be negative. I, I caught the backlash of that after it happened. Okay, and what people, was you feeling after people was like, what the fuck are you doing? What was you feeling then? I just blocked people because I didn't see it in that light. Like, I was like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Like, that wasn't the case. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't looking at it as that. But how people made it seem, I wasn't looking at it like that. So I was like, y'all interfering with my shit. Like, y'all interfering with the business. Like, I'm not here for that. I was strictly about business, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mind was there. So anything anybody had something to say about at that point, I was like, fuck out of here. Like, you're playing as an insulator to be on frequency. Fuck no. Because that was the mindset that I was in, so I just blocked them. Politely blocked them, and I just kept going on. Hmm. Damn. Okay. So now... Nighttime comes. You with Omac. Talk to me. You know, it, 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 it's time to get it on. What's going on in your mind? What's going on in your mind? Having sex with Omac. It's a real nigga moment. No insult. We but have you have to be as honest to me as possible. Me and Omac. This is where you get to tell your piece and let, let, let the yeah, universe do it. Yeah, absolutely. Me and Omek had a lot of insecurities about our sex life after coming out of after me coming out of a relationship with you. Because a lot of his questions to me was like, um, do you still love him? Are you still in love with him? This, this, and that. He had a fear that my vagina would be loose, so whatever the case may be. And I initially had insecurities about um, my vagina being like not being him not being able to fit and stuff like that not being able for it to be pleasurable and stuff like that because we were talking about being in a relationship and a part of that was having a baby and insecurities having a baby and my body changing and stuff like that and everything and so I, I guess in that moment because we was this was when we was on the phone talking about it. this wasn't in person this was before we came together and uh, we was talking about it and we basically just rationalized it to be like, well, maybe it's not as bad as we think it's going to be. So we just kind of like let it, all those insecurities, we kind of like, in those moments, we felt like we made each other secure in our sex life and made it, you know, made each other feel like, oh, it's going to be all right in those moments. So when we initially came together and we had sex, man. When we initially had sex, my body rejected the shit out of Omega. Oh. Like, when I tell 
tell you the first night we sat together. Wow. It literally felt like, damn, this is going on. I, I, I'm just be honest. Like this he, is a he, real nigga he, moment. He came inside of me. I'm just, I'm just being honest. Okay. He did, and my body rejected it. Like it literally felt like somebody was like giving me surgery on my ovaries, like on my fallopian tubes, like tying them shit together. Like, it felt like it wasn't supposed to be happening, like, at all. Like, to the point where I was not sleeping, I was tossing and turning, I was holding my, like, a bad-ass period, like, worse than a bad period. And so, he was, like, trying to figure out if I was okay in that moment or whatever like that. And and, 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 and I was like, bruh, this shit don't feel good. I had to go get a shower, I got a shower, the water helped calm me down and everything like that. Came back, you know... I just went to sleep because I had to force myself to go to sleep because the pain was that was that intense. So after that day, we wound up having sex again. I caught a yeast infection. This was another sign that I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing with him. I caught a yeast infection the next day. And the yeast infection was like something I had never experienced before. I never, I said to myself in that moment, I said, what the fuck is going on? And I started having thoughts to myself. I was like, yo, I'm like, the last time, I'm like, the last time I had a yeast infection, with a, when I was with a nigga, he was fucking around on me. And I don't know if I should go into deep, deep, should I go into deep? Yeah, that's how much you feel in your heart. I mean, this I is felt, your time. I felt this is your like, moment. I felt like the last time that I dealt with a yeast infection like that, to that degree, was when I was dealing with a man. And he was fucking around with other people, like another man, men and women. You feel me? And it came out to be that he was fucking around with men and women, like on some real shit. Like I'm not even trying to flex on Omega or none of that. I'm just being real. And I actually pulled Omega to the side because we, because af- like after that initial, after that initial time we had sex, the second time, and I caught the yeast infection. I'm like, whoa, maybe I'm tripping. Like maybe. Something is happening. Because I never had a yeast infection with Chief. Like, nothing ever happened to my body when I was with Chief. I never got any inkling that, you know, anything bad. Oh, anything. So, it was confusing for me. So, then, um, we wound up having sex again. And it got worse. Like, it got worse. And I was like, yo, we can't have sex no more. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, this shit is mad weird. Like, I don't know what's going on. So, we had a conversation about... Me having a yeast infection and why I might have it and stuff like that. And he started like, he really, like, Omega started acting like, <sighs> you know how you go through something with somebody and then uh, they start like having this like victim pity party for themselves, like in the process, but you're the one going through everything. I was looking at him like, yo, I'm the one who got the yeast infection. Like, why are you acting like that? And he's like, well, I don't want to be the cause of this yeast infection or whatever and all this extra shit. And he was like, all, like in tears and acting like a female. And I'm like, what are you doing? The what? The coffee cup. I don't know what it is. They, they should be in there. I might have, but I don't know. But um, so that happened. We we had the conversation. We had this conversation multiple times because the yeast infection lasted throughout the entire time that we was together. And the yeast infection. You said that one time he was kissing you. I'm about to get into that. I'm about to get into that. The, the yeast infection lasted the entire time we were together. So me and Omeg could not even have sex. Like he and my body was not allowing that to happen. Like literally. So. While we were seeing it like a couple and all that, like even for the um the little pop up and all that, we was not having sex. Like we wasn't. So um it was times where he will he would like want to intimately kiss me and everything like that. Like I guess to show affection, but my the like the my vagina, the yeast infection and all that, it will flare up. Like when he would kiss me. It would flare up, like, as if we wow. literally had sex, like, on some real shit. So I was like, this never happened to me before. I said, I cannot be intimate with you. And we had the conversation multiple times. And I said, I don't know exactly why this is happening, but I can't do this with you. You like, told I, me that when he went inside of you, you couldn't feel him. Yeah. On a, 
like on my walls, like straight across, I couldn't, I couldn't really like, it wasn't, it wasn't like he was filling me up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, all right, so say this my vagina, right? Not saying that my vagina is this big, but I'm just saying, say if it's this big, right? Um, this is cheap. You know what I'm saying? It's filled all the way It's filled up. This is all my, It's space. It's space. So, that was like... Wow. That was some. That was that was something that we dealt with, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was something... Wow. That was something that was just like, all right, fuck it. It's hit or miss. You know what I'm saying? We just like, fuck that shit. Like, we not gonna think about that shit. Like, we gonna keep going. Wow. No, seriously. And this is not no shame. This shit real nigga moment, this though. This shit real nigga moment. Penis sizes. This is a real nigga moment. This is my woman. This what? is my woman. You shouldn't have been touching my woman. That's what you get. You shouldn't have touched my baby. You shouldn't have touched my woman. That's my what you get. My body was rejecting him, man. Like, you belong to me. Real. You wise. You so then. Me? That's what you get. Oh, I cannot wait to tell how this makes work. So eventually, we stopped we stop being intimate altogether. Like, no affection at all. Of course, this dampered our relationship because we're like, what the fuck is going on? So as 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 time is going on, we're feeling more and more like friends. For me, I'm like, yo, I can't even be intimate with you. Yo. And when he kissed me one time, like one time he kissed me, and I, this is when I really decided, like, yo, this is not for me. This is not for me. Like he literally kissed me and. I, I don't know if any woman has ever been through this before, but I literally felt like I was kissing a gay man, like on some real shit. And I then proceeded a couple days after that to ask him, like, uh, <clears throat> we had, it, we had conversations. Let's, let's, let's leave we that We had down. conversations, but kept it real. I'm not sure. Let's keep it real. Let's say this. You I feel, feel like a gay... I you like, feel that old Mac got gay tendency? Yes, I do. Boom. And I That's told him it. that. I told him that. I said, you could be feminine at times. Okay. Cool. Let's leave it at that because it's, that's his thing. And there's no shame. There's no because shame. Because I'm not bashing you. Right? Okay. I just... So, this wasn't for me. Okay. This, 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 this is me. not yours. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's leave it right there. Mm -hmm. So now, as you at once... Old Mac left you on Sunday. Yeah. And you immediately start trolling me. Um, uh, actually, I started trolling but you, you, you before. But you said you told me when you was with Omac that you went in the bathroom and rubbed one oh off thinking about me. Oh my God! <laughs> so it's a real nigga moment. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, so I was so like, Omac made you made you start thinking about me more. With the with the yeast infection and all, I used to fuck like I was like, <clears throat> oh. You know, because I'm a woman and I get sexually aroused and that wasn't my thing, so nobody ever satisfied me the way that you do. Nobody ever satisfied me the way that she does. Like hey, so I'm when, when I wasn't getting when I wasn't getting what I needed, I was like, yo, I'm horny right now, I'm not fucking this nigga. Like, I'm finna like sit, watch Ellie right quick, I'm finna go to the bathroom, I'm finna like you know what I'm saying, I'm finna do my thing. So, you know, in my mind, my husband is so fucking fine that I don't have to watch porn because I can literally create a scene in my mind from where we had sex and jack off on that shit. Like, okay, so all right, shit. so that's what's up. Like, on some real shit, and that's what I did. Okay. I ain't tell nobody that, but I did it. Okay. And so, after, that's you know, that's real. After, some, after a couple days passed, I was, I was like, I cannot wait till he leave so I can talk to Chief. Like, I was literally like, I cannot wait until he leaves so I can call my husband. Like, so, this is how me and old Mac made you come back to me. Fine. That, that, that's understandable. People do that. So, you hit me up. Me and you start talking. This was a day after he, the next day after he left. We never got off the phone ever since then. Mm -mm. And because the emotional breakthrough, when you explained to me everything, I was like, fuck it, I'm fine. Then you want to, in the middle of us talking, you erase Beyond frequency. Yeah. Like, but, 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 but prior to before, okay, so the same day me and you started talking back and everything, uh -huh. um, I had already insinuated to Omeg, like, I don't think that this is going to work. Like, yeah, y'all had texted each other. Stuff. He felt that. He yeah, knew. absolutely. So I was, like, kind of ignoring him. 
during that, you know, during that, those, those, like, a couple days, or maybe three days, when me and you really was talking, then we kind of cut it off, whatever. When we cut it off, I was like, yo, like, I'm not with the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was explaining to him everything. I was like, I don't, this is not going to work. Like, I don't think you don't want for me. I literally told him that. This nigga literally texted me back and said, I understand. Literally is what he said. He said, I understand. I know that this is happening. This is happening. He actually, y'all, if I'm wrong, yo, I could fucking, the universe could bury me tonight. He literally said in the text message, like, encouraging me to be back with Chief on some real shit. Like, he was like, if that's what's in your heart, then I support you. Do that shit. You know what I'm saying? But Omek thought that he was still going to have a relationship with me when I, you know, got back with Chief. And I'm like, Nah, like that's not a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, what do I need to have a relationship with you for? So after I told him exactly how I felt after everything was said and done, I cut all ties. Like, there's no reason for me to talk to you. So he was trying to hit me up and was like, call me and this, this, and that. And I wound up blocking him or whatever. And I guess he felt played or whatever. So he wound up blocking me. And I was like, better. That's better for me. You know what I'm saying? Because now, you, you know what I'm saying? Don't reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's redundant at this point. So he wound up blocking me, and then I guess he felt played, so he wound up online saying everything that he said, and I'm like, yo, we, we literally had an understanding, like, I don't know why you have to do that, which made me feel like he's really immature and childish, because now he's playing his victim role to the public, like, I fucked over him when we, when we both made the decision to see if we were, we were going to just cut it off, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't like I spent this nigga on some on some evil type shit and was like, nah, fuck you. Like, I don't want to fuck with you. I'm going to be back with you. Like, nah, I literally told him the reasons why I didn't want to fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? And he understood it, and we came to a mutual agreement. That's why I feel like it's, it's he's a coward. You know what I'm saying? Because that's stupid. Like, why would you do that? If, if we came to an agreement and an understanding, why are you dragging it out for the public the way that you are? You know that's what I'm a saying? factory. I don't know. I so feel you like women, I feel like women do that shit. Yeah. It was feminine of him. Absolutely. And and that's okay. That's okay. But all right. So, uh, how are you feeling right now? You got that off your chest. I feel like. What? What? I feel like. I can do that. I can do that. I feel very relieved that I'm that I was able to talk about. A lot of the stuff that I shared today because there was a lot of like preconceptions and assumptions and questions about how everything unfolded. And you know people gonna be like, oh, I feel sorry for OMAC. What do you have to say about people that's gonna feel sorry for OMAC? But OMAC, they, they're not holding OMAC responsible because the way he moves, he moves in a subtle, feminine way. And he's gonna make himself y'all look call, like... Y'all call me the manipulator. <laughs> like, y'all call me the manipulator. You just being all the way honest Yeah, like, my, my whole shit is... He knew what the fuck was going on. And he told me that. Like, he told me he initially. Know, he swore. He know exactly what's going on, but the way he playing it is playing a subtle, feminine, uh, meek role. And, and he, knows that, it, oh, he knows that he's been following. He knows that people <laughs> you know, are going to support him. He well, knows let that them that niggas so fuck around. And, and that's, <laughs> that's fine. That's totally fine. I just, I just think that... Well, let, let them know, fuck with him. Up. I'm thankful. Um, let them fuck with him and see what they get. So there it is. They'll see for themselves and maybe they deserve him. It is what it is. You Another always want to separate the real from the real and the fake from the fake. So it is what it is. Another thing, the reason why me and Omek wasn't really working out was because of the Moorish thing. And it was certain times where, it was certain times where, yeah. um, out like Chief would come on my mouth. Like, not, not Chief like Chief, but actually like the thing that, you know, teach, um, uh, she teaches us and stuff, and it would like come out. Like for instance, like one morning, I would, well, when when rising, I would, I woke up or whatever, and I was like, dealing with Ellie, I was taking care of her and stuff, and I'm like, welcome back, Ellie, like you know what I'm saying? And he was like, he looked to the side and he was like, you sure you don't want to go back? Like you know what I'm saying? Shit? And I was like, we got into it. And I was like, fuck you! I was like, take me back to Florida. Like I was gonna make him drive all five hours to bring me all the way back to Florida because, like, who are you? I felt in that moment, who are you to tell me how to express myself with my daughter? Like, I don't give a fuck what I've been through in life. I don't give a fuck where I came from or what you've been through. I'm going to express myself how I want to with my daughter. 
I'm gonna teach her what I want her to know. I don't give a fuck what you think. All right. Your... That's a fact because you have, you have, you have, exactly. So he felt some type of way. He wound up crying, talking me out of it, whatever. I said, look, if you don't fucking drive me far, I'm gonna buy myself a, pl- uh, uh, fly- I mean, a uh, uh, bus ticket. I don't give a fuck. So eventually everything calmed down or whatever, and we talked about it, and I guess we, I guess he wanted to be with me, so he basically kissed my ass. In a process, but, but, but you're upset with Omac right now because how he put your he business dealt, out. How he dealt with you would have never even went here. I wouldn't have never went here if he wouldn't have never told me, put my own business, my business out online that wasn't right. That wasn't his that fucking wasn't, business right. for him to talk about exactly. our, your shit. Exactly. And so, how he dealt with it. Right, because me and you, we was getting back together slowly but surely. But then his messages start coming out, and I'm like, who the fuck is he to tell the business? Exactly. When y'all had exactly. when y'all had access to each other, he could have texted you. Exactly. When you were talking to each other, so he put the business out there. So but this is why did. you're doing what we're doing right now. And that was the weird part because we had a mutual understanding. It wasn't like I just completely throwed him off the end of the earth and was like, "Fuck you." Right. Nah, I literally closed that shit perp- like how I was supposed to maturely, and he understood. And he went and talked and about he went that. And, you know, telling your test results and right. shit. That was not. This- that's Who the fuck was you to tell her test results? That wasn't your place at all. Like Who the fuck was you to tell her she's going back to nature? But we didn't. How the fuck you put my daughter in danger? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we see you going back to nature. Boy. And that's what I told him. I said, Come man, on, man. You really don't care. Like you, I thought you cared. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you fuck really care about nigga, my Who you to tell her he wants? She wants to be with Nate. Why would you tell our business? Like, you told her business supposed to be your friend. Like, type but shit. That's, that's the type. But that's that's the true colors. After everything is said and done, no matter what happens shit. and what you know what went on, I mean, shit, it, it, it played out the way that it needed to. So look, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm 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 um in this live. We're gonna come back open and we're gonna do a Q and A for anybody that wanna call in and talk directly to you about the whole story. Okay. All right. So if y'all wanna ask questions, call in respectfully. Talk to Nana. We're gonna do it right now. Um, I'm gonna hang up. We're gonna open up another live. And there's.